Okay, Job 25, a very short chapter, some chapters shorter than others. But before we venture to 25, we need to look at 24, verse 25, the end of Job. And if it be now so, I mean, if it not so, if it be not so now, who will make me a liar and make my speech nothing worth? Then Spank answered Bildad. And chapter 25 really has nothing to do with nothing. But when you take the closing words of Job, uh, who's going to prove me to be a liar? This guy just jumps right in, and he has nothing to say. And when we look at these six verses, you're going to look back and you should say, what's that got to do with Job? So then he answered Bill that the shoe height and said, Dominion and fear are with him, God. Okay. He maketh peace in his high places. Very much true. What's that have to do with Job? I mean, Job's been answering. He's saying, listen, I'm not I'm not wicked as you guys call me to be wicked. Let me tell you about God, how wonderful God is. Yeah, okay, he's got dominion. That doesn't help Job. He's still sitting there with his boils in pain. Is there any number to his army? Why? What do you imply? What is Bill Dad implying? Yeah, God's got an army. I mean, we read later on about it. He's got innumerable angels. And upon whom does not his light arise? God is light. Light pictures God revelation to to you about him. How can a man be justified with God? Now that's that's been a question before. What can man do to be right with God? Well, Job's already said, listen, I'm not wicked. I'm in iniquity. God helped me to, to understand. God, I, I, I got words to say to you. I don't understand. So he turns around, well, Job, how can you be justified with God? And how can he be cleaned as born of a woman? Now, isn't chapter four? I mean, chapter chapter twenty-five, verse four. Is that not good? Question. Two good questions. I wish somebody would come up on the street to me and say, uh, "Preacher, how can I be clean from God being born of one?" Now, the Bible says in Peter, "Be ready to give answer to anyone for the hope of glory." How would you answer that? His answer is, "Behold, even to the moon." And it shineth not. What's that going to do with a man being justified with God? Somebody came up to you. Well, you're, preacher, I really want to be right with God. I, I, I want to do what God tells me to do. What is it? Well, the moon doesn't shine. Great philosophy. Now today, having the complete Bible, the 66th book, it would say, Jesus said that a man must be born again. That a man must confess his sins, for he is a sinner, for all have sinned. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die because, listen, we got the answers today. But somebody come up to you and say, you know, you got somebody who, who wants to get saved. Oh, the moon shines not. What? What is that? But then again, and I don't want to call it nonsense, but Bill Dad also tells us, in the realm of the ancient people who had no idea of philosophies, they had no learning and knowledge such as we have today. In approximately 1520 BC that this was written, Bildad knew that the, that the moon did not have its own light. Bildad knew that the, that the moon shined off the sun. And we're talking about an era, some people believe that the earth was flat during this time. That the earth traveled on the turtle's back and all the kinds of nonsense. Listen, up to the time of Christopher Columbus, they thought, hey, Christopher, you go too far, you're going to go over the edge. And yet when we read about the Bible, look at what we do know. That they knew. And they knew a lot better than us. They tried to build a building in Las Vegas and last week, a crane came falling down. They had to destroy all the cane, cranes. All right, now let's go over to Egypt and look at those pyramids in the Sphinx, which we have no idea 
what and why they were there, and yet the mathematical proportions of those buildings, if you want to call them buildings, man, they match to the universe, the astrological chart, and just a wonder. Man can't do that today. Yea, the stars are not pure in his own, in his sight. I'd be looking to the angels. But what's that have to do with can a man be justified with God? The moon doesn't shine, the stars are not clean. All right, man does not shine of himself. And as the stars, we are our unclean thing. How much less than men? So the, the reason for the moon and the stars, you know, he, he's evaluating man as, you know what? We don't have our own light. That's true. We have the light of Jesus or you're in darkness. You either got the light of God or you're in darkness, John chapter 3. And the stars are, are not pure. And yet, some of them stars in the book of Revelation said they are angels. Some angels are holy, some angels are unholy. How much less man that is a worm and the life of human beings begin as sperm, and sperm under a microscope looks like a worm. How did he know that? How did these dumb, stupid, ancient people know such things? And the Son of Man, which is a worm. And again, the meeting, verse 6 verses, he doesn't give no answer. He doesn't even spell out his answer. But Job said, and if it be not so now, who will make me a liar? And we got, now look at 26.1, and Job answered. 25.1-6, <laughs> where did you see, build that Job, this is where you lied. Here is build that, you know, and you ever met somebody, they just got to say something, you don't, don't mean nothing. There it is. Here's the Bible. It's a shame. That's that. 